Shalom, 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 child of God. Welcome to today's service. I hope you are well. God is with you. He has protected you. He has been with you. And he's doing something special upon your life. My name is Sonyango Eric. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you in this service. And I know God will speak unto your soul. Today I would like to talk about dedication of months. Why should we dedicate months? There are churches that have that practice whereby they dedicate every month. There are others that they don't have, and there are also those who do without having proper understanding. Today I would like to explain in clarity and neatness why we should dedicate our months. It was a common practice in the time of biblical days. Archaic times, medieval, you'll find that they were dedicating months. It was a practice well, uh, they embraced it, young and old. They knew about the months. But the problem with believers, we don't have that knowledge. Every month we pursue like any other month. We need to dedicate our months. These days are very important. These months are very important. And they command something. That's why you need to understand them. The Bible, they have mentioned months, like months of Abib, where the children of Israelites were delivered from the bondage in Egypt. They, they understand these months. When you read the book of Isaiah chapter 47, you will realize that many people are going to the witches to tell them about the months, because they know the power behind the months. If you don't understand the implication of the months, you will, not under, you will not reap the benefit of every month. You will not understand how the months operate. Why do we uh, declare? Why do we spend time to declare? Why do we announce declarations in our churches? I would like you to understand that months have power. These months have power. And for you to change things, you need to declare. You need to declare. There are things that will happen in your family unless you declare they will not go away. And there are things that will never happen in your family unless you proclaim them, unless you possess them, unless you go out and tell God that this thing, I need them. You need to declare. It's very, very important. We declare to do what? We declare to change our course. There are things that will remain the same unless we change them. Unless we declare there are things that will never change. Our situation will remain the same unless we declare. I would like us to understand a man called Jabez. Jabez understand his history. He understood well his family lineage. That's why he declared in the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10, he realized that his family, his name was not a good name. The name was commanding something, and he had to change that. And he declared, and he spoke powerfully for his life. You need to declare some things in your life. You need to stand and declare things to happen in your family. You have to declare. If you don't declare, you are sons. Your grandchildren will suffer the same fate unless you are ready to declare, unless you are ready to change things. The Bible says in the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9, the Bible talks, there was a man named Jabez who was the most respected member of his family. His mother had given him a name Jabez because his birth had been very painful. But Jabez prayed to God of Israel, Bless me, God, and give me much land. Be with me and keep me from anything evil that might cause me pain. And God gave him what he prayed for. We are learning here that Jabez made a declaration. His name signified pain, but him, he refused to be associated with pain. Those are the power of declaration. And God listens to declarations. When you declare, God establishes. 
I'll be speaking on, on that. We declare to denounce curses. We know that uh, Jacob, in, Je uh, in the book of Genesis, chapter 49, he realized here, he called his sons and told them, I want to tell you what will become of you. And he declared curses on his children, Issachar, Reuben, uh, 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 the balloon, declare curses. Uh, the, the lineage that Moses came from, the Levite, Levi, he declared curse. But a man of God by the name Moses said, No, I will not suffer the same fate. I shall not suffer the same fate. I shall not experience the same. I shall not suffer while I'm watching. I will have to do something. I will have to pray. I will have to change things upon my life. Then Moses, when you read the book of Moses, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 33, Moses is declaring blessings. Where there was curse, Moses is declaring blessings. Wherever you experience a curse, you need to change it with blessing. When somebody tells you it will amount to nothing, just remind him that you are greater than what he expects. Because God has designed a person to be great. Why do we declare? We declare because God, when we declare, God establishes. We'll find that in the book of Job, chapter 22, verse 28. The Bible tells us that whatever we declare, whatever we declare, God will surely do what? God will establish whatever we declare. God will always establish. Job chapter 22 verse 27. The Bible says when you pray, he will answer you and he will keep the views, vows you made. You will succeed in all you do and light will shine on your path. God, when you just declare, when you pray, the Bible says when you pray, when you declare, prayer is declaration. When you pray, God establishes. Back to our, our teaching about months. These months were pagan months. They were celebrating. They were commemorating. They were celebrating their gods. And these gods were representing something. So if you don't declare, if you don't take charge of the months, it shows that that month, the owner of that month will be the one speaking. A person named after that month will be the one commanding. The spirit behind it will be the one working on the ground. Just the etymology of calendar. We realize that there were two calendars. There are the first one, uh, Julian calendar, and there is another one called Gregorian, the one that we are using today. This was an ancient Roman calendar that was invented around 753 BC before Christ by someone called Romulus. He was the first king of Rome. And when you realize so many people brand the month of January as January. Some people argue that it is longer than any other month. Some people argue that it is like a lost account month. You can't achieve much. And this month, according to the history of Rome, the first two months were not considered important. They were not significant. This month, January and February, according to the Gregorian calendar, were not important. They refer to them as dead months because there was no activity. Military were at their barracks. There were no fighting. There were no planting. There were no... Government was like shut down. So these months, they were 
considered useless. That's why the, according to their calendar, they were counting from March to December. January and February, they were considered it a lost account. So this month, if you don't declare growth, if you don't declare, you will not achieve anything in January because it was the intention of that month was a dead month. That's why you need, January is a month of prayer. It's a month that you need to fight. It's a month that you need to pray. Because if you don't pray in the month of January, you will not achieve anything. Because the honor, the spirit behind the month will be declaring a dead month. It's a month that people say nothing can happen. It's a month that people cry. It's a month that people, uh, there is no much activity in that month. Because that was the intention of the originator. You have to pray during that month for something to happen to you. It was named after a goddess, a god by the name Janus. Janus was a protector of gates and doors of war. Uh, that god had two heads, front and back. And we realize that those head represented past and future, past perspective and future hope. So this is a month that you need to keep yourself with hope. This is a month that you should be uh, futuristic. This is a month that you need to write your new year resolution. Because it is a month that you can choose either to look at the past, your past mistake, or you forge ahead towards your future. Because it is a month that has two headed sides. The choice is yours. Will you be futuristic or you will be looking at the back? This is the month that you need to write your new resolution. Think big. Think future. Because the originator of this month understand it. It is time that war can happen or peace can, be, can prevail. When that gate is open, it shows there is war. Soldiers go out. But when there is no, the gate closed. So it is a man that if you are not careful, you will be sacked. You will, be, you will not achieve much. It is a man that you need to make declarations. It is a man that you need to make serious declarations. Because it is a man that you can end up not achieving anything. It is a man that we need to make declaration. It is a man that we need to speak life. Declare words like in the book of Psalms 118 verse 17. I will not die. Instead, I will live and proclaim what the Lord has done for me. I will not die, but I will live to proclaim the goodness of God in this land of the living. This is a month of declare, declaring good things. This is a month that we need to remind ourselves we are to make it and make it. This is a month that we need to approach it with confidence. We need to approach the month of January with vigor, with synergies, with power. This is a month that we need to focus. When you read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6, the Bible says, Be determined and confident. Do not be afraid of them. You are God. The Lord himself will be with you. He will not fail you or abandon you. This is a man that God is assuring us that he will be with us throughout the year. This is a month of declaration. You are telling, you are encouraging yourself. You are with God. God will take you through. God is with you. He will never abandon you. He will never forsake you. I would like to talk about the month of February. People consider it a month of love. A month of love. But it is not, the intention of it was 
a name Februa. It was a time of dedication, a time of purification, a time of cleansing the city. This is a month that we need to declare. There is a topic I, I spoke of, uh, opening gates of the city. This is a month whereby we fortify the city. This is a month that we declare good things about the city. This is a month that we declare prosperity in the city. They say pray for Jerusalem. This is a month that we need to cleanse the city. We pray atonement. It was a festival of purification and atonement. The idea behind this month is sanctifying the city. As believers, this is a month that we tell God, Regardless of sins, Father, forgive us. This is the time that we need to speak of the book of God, uh, uh, First Chronicles, chapter 14, where the Bible says that if my people are called by my name, will humble themselves, seek, turn away from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and in their land. This is that time that we need to make such declaration. This is that time that we need to wake up and proclaim the name of the Lord. This is that time that we need to dedicate our city and tell God, remember this city. Remember this city of Nairobi. Remember this city. This is a time that we need to declare good things about the city. This is that moment that we need to tell God to remember this city, to make this city a productive one. It is that very time that we need to do it. There is no other time. It is time that we need to declare. Every month of February, it is a, a moment that we need to go and tell God good things. God wants us to succeed. God wants us to make it in this city. God wants us to grow. God wants us to enjoy. The book of 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. I said 1 Chronicles but it is 2 Chronicles. If my people repent and turn away from their evil they have been doing, then I will hear them in heaven, forgive their sin and make their land prosperous again. This is that month that we make this declaration about our city to be productive, our city to be peaceful, our city to be acceptance, our city deals to be open, opportunities to be found. This is that time of making declaration about the city. We cleanse the city. We atone for the city. We pray for the city so that God bring blessings to this city. Allow me now to go to the month of March. The month of March. This month was named after the Roman god of war called Mars. It is a period of fight. It is a period where people go out to fight. It is a period that I can say military resume the campaign. It is not a season of joking. It is not a season of relaxing. It is not a season of of you just sleeping. This is a month that is a serious in a spiritual realm. Forces are ganging up. What Mika said that we are under ambush. This is the time that the evil forces are preparing. The goddess are preparing. The gods are preparing. But believers are sleeping. Second Peter chapter 9 verse 5. The Bible talks about being alert, being alert. The enemy, the devil, is not joking, is not joking, is there seeking who to devour, seeking who to destroy, seeking who to break. But believers, we are sleeping. Believers. We are fine. Believers, nothing disturbs us. Yet, this is a month where the military, they are resuming. They are resuming their campaign. 
They are resuming to cause havoc. They are resuming to cause problems. They are resuming to destroy lives. They are resuming. First Peter chapter 5 verse 8. The Bible says, Be alert. Be on the watch. Your enemy, the devil, roams around like a rolling lion, looking for someone to devour. This is that man that we need also to put on full armor. What the Bible says uh, in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. This is that time that we need to be equipped spiritually. We need to be equipped uh, in all dimensions. It is a time for preparation. This is not a time to lament. This is not a time to enjoy. This is a month of serious battles. This is time whereby you fight. This is time now you break barriers. This is time that you break yokes. This is time that you release missiles in the world of the spirit. This is that time that you prepare well. The month of April, it was named, it is a, from a Latin word, operio, to open bud. Because, ma, because plants begin to grow in this month. This is a month of new things. When you declare in the month of April, you declare new things, things that you are not used to. If you don't have a degree, they, now is the time that you proclaim and say, I want to get a degree. Now is that time that you desire new frontiers. This is the time that you desire lands. You desire great things. When this month reaches, make a point to declare new things, new horizon, new frontiers. The month of April is a serious month that we need to make serious declarations. I'm talking about months because months can hold us back. When we don't capture our months, it will capture us. When we don't reign, we shall be defeated. If we don't conquer, we shall be defeated. That's why we need to understand about this month. It is a month of new beginnings. The Rome were understanding it as a month of new growth. People are doing a lot of things, but it was also a month of immorality. The book of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19, the Bible to, uh, tells us that God is doing a new thing. Behold, God, when a, 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 a verse Start with be old is attracting our attention. Want us to put focus on it. God is doing a new thing. This is a period where God is going to do a new thing in our lives. When we are invited for declaration, it is a power, perfect moment that you should run there and make declarations. Because this month, they have ability to control your life. They have ability to take you to another level or to destroy you. They have ability to make you someone or no, nobody. This month is a month of love and romance. April, it was a month of love and romance. This is a moment that when you are married, you pray for God to ignite the love in that marriage because it was a month that they were doing about love and romance. You have to declare my love, the love that was in the life of uh, Isaac and Rebecca, for God to put that love in your, in your marriage. You have to make that declaration. I want to talk about the month of May. The month of May. The month of May. This month was named after a Roman goddess called Maya. Maya. There are so many parents who have called their daughters Maya. This was a name of a goddess in Rome. This goddess work was to oversee, to nurture, to make the earth uh, stable, to make things stable. So this month it's a month that you declare stability. This is a month that you declare stability in your business. This is a month that you declare stability in your relationship. 
This is a man that you declare stability in all your endeavors, in your income. This is a month that we make serious declaration about stability. When you read the book of uh, uh, Second Chronicles, yes, chapter 20, chapter 20, verse 20, verse 22, the Bible says, Uh, 2020, early in the morning, the people went out to the wild country near Tekoa. As they were starting out, Jehoshaphat addressed them with this word, People of Judea and Jerusalem, put your trust in the Lord your God, and you will stand firm. Believe what your prophet tells you, and you will succeed. You will stand firm. He's telling the children of Israel, and uh, he's telling them how to be stability. It is trusting in the Lord. When you trust in the Lord, God will give you stability. The month of May is a month of declaration of stability. Whatever you are doing, you declare stability in those things. God does not love divorce. The Bible says he hates divorce. So this month of May, you declare stability in your relationships. You declare stability in your union. You declare stability in your connections. You declare stability in your relationships. You declare stability in, uh, in friendship. In your network, you declare stability. This is a month of stability. I want to talk about the month of June. Named after a Roman goddess called Juno, patron of marriage and well-being of women. This month it's a serious month. Serious month around the globe. Remember this month is the month that most governments read their budget. And it was the most important month because it was named after the most important goddess in Rome. So when you just see a month of June, it is a month that every Kenyan Adult Kenyan is always awake and alert. Why? Because it is also a serious month in our treasury. It is a month of filing, the last month of filing your return. It is a serious month. It is a month that so many people will tell you that we are waiting for this month so that we open a new year, calendar year. Uh, financial year. It is a serious month. It is a month that we need to pray. It is a month of well-being. It is a month of marriages. It is a month of productivity, fruitfulness, of animal, of labor. It is a serious month. This is a month that we need to declare sustainability. We declare the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. And my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. This is a month that we make declarations. We make serious declarations. It is not a time that we shall say, oh, it is just a June. No. This was a name after a goddess. You have to take charge of this month. You have to declare about this month. You cannot just allow things to go on and you say, oh, watch a liwe. No. You have to stand firm and declare and decree and it shall be established. God wants us to see things. God wants us to do greatness. God wants us to maneuver. God wants us to conquer. This is a month of restoration. This is a month of productivity. This is a month of greatness. The book of Joel chapter 2, verse 25, the Bible tells us, I will give you back what you have lost. In the years when swarm of locusts hate your crops, it was I who sent this army against you. This is a month of restoration, productivity. God is restoring whatever you could not get because government consider the year starting June. This is a month of new beginning. 
this is a year that you have to make it. When you talk about the, uh, the month of July, named after, to honor Julius Caesar, it happened between 100 to 44 BC. He made first attempt making first calendar, as I said earlier, called Julian calendar. This is a serious month. This is a serious month that we need to declare the month of July because it is a month that we had the first attempt of calendar. It is a month of innovation. It is a month of creativity. It is a month of what I spoke the other day that God should give you creativity strength, intellectual strength, this is that month that to tell God, make me creative. The month of July, we declare creativity in church. We declare creativity in our businesses. We declare creativity because man was created unique. The Bible says that God has created you in a unique way. You are a royal priesthood, a chosen generation, a peculiar people. You are unique. You have intellectual. You have intellect. That's why you need to declare during this month of July creativity and innovation upon your life. I want to go first to the month of August. This month, it is a month that we have to pray. We have to pray about this month because it originated uh, after naming someone called Augustus Caesar. And you can remember during this period of Augusta, Augusta Caesar, there were so many mysterious deaths. There were so many mysterious deaths. And you can uh, agree with me. During the month of August, there are always mysterious deaths. During the month of August, great men, senior people, died during this month. Because the originator... This was the intention of that man. This was what was happening during that time of Augustus Caesar. You need to pray. You need to pray and declare peace. Declare life. Declare God to sustain your family. Like the book of Psalms 91. With long life, God will satisfy us. This is a man that will cover your family. This is a man that you cover your friends. You terminate the spirit of premature deaths. You declare long life. You declare life upon your family members, upon your loved ones, because it was a month of mysterious deaths. It was a month of mysterious death, but there is a window. You can proclaim peace. You can proclaim peace during this month. This is a month that we need to make serious declaration concerning our lives, concerning our destinies, concerning our lineage. It is a moment that you cannot just share away. It is a moment that you need to pray about this month. This is a month that we shall succeed. This is a month of peace. It is a month of greatness. It is a month that God wants us to take us to another level. But if you don't commit this month, that's why we find that there is so many mysterious deaths during the month of August, because this is what was happening during that time of Augustus Caesar. I want to talk about the month of September. The month of September. I told you earlier that the first two months in Gregorian calendar was not considered it was referred to as a dead month. Therefore, their month started from March, was the considered first day, first month. So when you read September, they count it as the seventh month. September is derived from a word septem, meaning seven. It was the sec seventh month. I will not talk much about it because it was a month of wisdom. It is month that you pray God to give you wisdom. Because the Bible says, them that lack wisdom, they should ask and will give generously and graciously. It is time that we make Solomonic prayer and tell God to give us wisdom. I want us to go to the month of October. It is derived from 
a word called Octo. It is an eighth month of the year in the Roman calendar. This is a month that they tried to change it severally, but they were not fruit, they, they did not succeed. There are so many empires who tried to change it, but they could not. It is a month that you have to declare. If you don't declare, something will happen. There is people who declare it, and it is ticking. The old England, they refer to it as a windmill. They know it as 